Hey guys, today I want to make a Magic the Gathering movie speculation, and it's been a while since we talked about the movie. The movie, I don't know, I, I believe there was going to be released in 2015, somebody correct me if that was wrong, but we haven't seen a trailer about the movie. But that being said, we have seen movie products, or movie-based products, like the Funko figures and the action figures as well as more like magic t-shirts. I see them in Walmart now, not Walmart. Um, I've seen them at like Hot Topic or something. Yeah, Hot Topic, that's the really gothic place, right? <laughs> and I was like, oh, cool magic t-shirt. And then everything's like really dark and the lights are dim. I feel like I'm walking into like a basement of some type, <laughs> like a really bad. Anyway, Hot Topic is fine. I don't wanna boo-hoo Hot Topic. Hot Topic is fine. I buy stuff from them all the time. Just I try to like, get out there as fast as I can. Uh, so hot, no, no, Spencer's. Okay, that's what it is. Was it Spencer's or Hot Top? Maybe both of them carry them. But I'm seeing more magic merchandise, which is a good sign that the movie is still kind of be, being worked on. I, I do hope the movie is very popular. And here's my speculation about the movie. Should the movie be very popular, we're gonna get a influx of new magic players, which is good for everybody. Uh, just like I've always said this, that the more Magic players there are, the better the community will be because you have the more opportunity to meet people. It's kind of like going to a big college versus going to a small college. If you go to a college and let's say your small college is a thousand people, you might not find people who are interested in anime, I'd say. Well, like, okay, a thousand, let's say 200 people in your very small college. Maybe they're not interested in anime, but if you go to a college and it has like 100,000 people, you probably have like five different anime clubs. I know when I went to uh, NYU, we had just this alone. We had the Chinese Student Association, we had the Hong Kong Student Association, we had the Taiwanese Student Association, we had the Japanese Student Association, we had the Asian American so Student Association, we had the Asians from New York Student Association, we had the Asians from California Student Association, we had the uh, Philippine uh, Philippines Student Association, is that, is that correct? Um, Someone correct me if I'm wrong. But we had like, oh we had the Tibetan Student Association. We had pretty much every single group you can imagine. So the more magic players you have, the more likely somebody like you will be a magic player. And that's awesome. Um, I am, I cre I'm very creative. Uh, again, it is, it's like, 3.25 at night time right now. Uh, is it 5 o'clock? I don't know. Um, the videos will probably be done at like 6 o'clock in the morning, I want to say. And finding people like me is kind of hard. Or finding people who are awake, who, who like video games, who like... Um, and the more Magic player there, there are at your local Friday Night Magic, the more friends you can make. And that's fantastic for everybody. I'm going to go ahead and say that the movie is going to be really, really good. Uh, the reason that it's going to be really, really good is because when you look at, um, I went to see Avengers Ultron before seeing the Mayweather Pacquiao fight, and that movie I read in Facebook pre, uh, premiered at $84.8 million, which is fantastic. And then uh, the one with Paul Walker, Fast and Furious 7, premiered at, like, it, it, that broke all box records, and it's a fantastic movie. Uh, but that's Geek 2. Um, so is the, I mean, no, nothing could be more geek than Avengers 2, right? That's pretty geek. And then you got Star Wars coming out. You have all these very geeky, uh, Superman versus Batman. A lot of these very geeky um, type of movies are doing extremely well. Um, so I don't see a reason that Magic the Gathering cannot do. And then Transformers, obviously, I mentioned them because they're owned by Hasbro. The brand is managed by Hasbro, which is the same brand that manages Magic the Gathering. So I feel like the movie is going to be very good. I feel like it will be received well, and then there will be an influx of players who will be interested in playing this game. Or they're new players, or maybe they're returning players who now see the movie and they like the movie and they want to go to the attic and bring out their old collection and play, you know, go to the store. So uh, promoting the movie, I feel like it's very important for magic players to do um, once it does come out because it I mean there's no better advertisement than a full-length movie where people are going to pay money to so psychology there's that effect where if I pay money to a movie 
I'm more inclined to like it even though I really don't like it because I've already committed my time and money to the movie so I have a bias uh, than not. So hopefully the movie becomes good and hopefully we get a new influx of players. I'm going to go ahead and speculate that the movie is going to be very well done and in the culture right now, the pop culture right now, Magic is a very a magic movie would fit perfectly with Star Wars and uh, Avengers and Batman, Superman, and uh, if if Mad Max can get a movie and do like I mean I, I wasn't the greatest movie. Um, it, oh, the trailers don't look amazing for it. Or oh, Power Rangers is coming up with a movie soon. So yeah, I mean it's very like it's like geek heaven, right? Like when I was younger, I we didn't have any geeky movies. I think Signs was like the most geeky movie I ever went to in high school because it was like, well, it's kind of about aliens and no one really does that. <laughs> Bye guys.